Would you like to make one of your textured or patterned brushes into a seamless pattern that you could use for print on demand products? Well, it all begins with a brush made from a tile that's paired with a canvas in just the right way. And that is the topic of our tutorial today. But before we get started, we're gonna need a few things. You'll want the most recent version of Procreate along with the brush that we made in our previous tutorial, tutorial two. Three things before we start. We're gonna be starting with a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas, but inside of Procreate, we're gonna change that size. So any size canvas to start will be fine. Next, I would love to see your patterns, and if you'd like to share them, please share them at Instagram with the hashtag DigiWithLiz. Next, you can check your patterns to see if they're seamless at my site. Go to bit.ly forward slash check dash tile. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to change the size of that for our project. So let me go down, let's see, I've stored our project in demos and here we go, it's our petal project right here. And so we created 26% uh, percent scale uh, for our grain and it tells us that we need a canvas size of 6,266, so 6,266, gotta remember that. Okay, I'm gonna select my first brush here and then I'm gonna go over to um, my wrench 6266 six, six, and select canvas, crop and resize, settings, resample, and then 6266. Six, six. And when we have that, we're going to go ahead and tap done. All of these brushes are actually seamless within any size of Procreate. Right, let's go ahead and use our first brush and let's go ahead and go with some bright red there and just lay it down. Awesome. Okay. Then let's go with a yellow for our next brush and we're going to create a new layer just in case we decide we want to change one of the colors for some reason. Okay, so our second brush. Aww. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Okay, and then a new layer and I think I'm going to go green. Oops, forgot to change the brush. So let's go ahead and change the brush. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I like this. This is kind of fun, but in a subtle way. <laughs> okay. A new layer. And let's see, I think we need some blue here. So that blue looks good. And let's see, I need to change my brush. Okay. And did I create a new layer? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Okay. That is truly fun. Okay. So now let's go ahead and test this tile to make sure that it is in fact seamless so that we can take an image of this and upload it to our print-on-demand companies. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a composite though. So with our top layer selected, we're gonna go over to wrench, select add, copy canvas, and then paste. Okay, and then we're gonna come over to our top bar here and tap it until we see our ellipsis. Then we're gonna tap that to get our menu and select a split view. Okay, and then we'll come over to my website. Okay, here at digiartswithliz.com, um, uh, there's a tools, a link here, and a pattern checker that takes you to this uh, pattern checker page. And it's basically a two by two block repeat pattern checker. So let's go ahead and take our comp composite layer here and just drag and drop it right in. Okay, oh, that's cute. I'll we'll just make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. And you can see that it is in fact seamless. So that's great. Um, <laughs> I just love that. It's so fun. I could, I could imagine a wrapping paper out of this. I think I said that before when we were creating our our brushes initially. Um, so lots of fun. And I now you can just go play with all the colors and make a variety of different either digital products or print on demand products. If for some reason your seamless tile isn't seamless, go back to the brush studio and grain and just double check the scale just to make sure it's the right size. And also double check your canvas to make sure it's the right size for the scale of the brush. These brushes are really meant to help you be successful. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching and I hope that your day is amazing.